If the question is like, which instrument has changed human perception of life, even if it is not read anywhere, we can still answer it with our eyes closed. It's a microscope. Yes, it's a microscope, an instrument used to see objects that are too small to be seen by the naked eyes. It helps scientists to understand the building block of the world around us, from cells of living things down to individual molecules of atoms. In today's video, we will learn about the structure, the type and the working of the most popular of all microscopes, the optical microscope. Hello and welcome to our channel Stories in Biology. If you like our method of presentation, please do like the video, do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon to stay updated for more interesting stories from the world of biology. Optical microscope is a kind of microscope that commonly uses visible light and a system of lenses to generate a magnified image of small object. Although optical microscope is the topic of the video, but let me inform you that to meet different needs of scientific research at different times, many advanced types of microscopes were developed like electron microscope, x-ray microscope, scanning probe, scanning acoustics, etc. Those microscopes, each with a different level of magnification and resolution, use different waveforms like electron beam, X-ray, acoustics, and uses different kinds of lenses like electromagnetic or electrostatic lens to create an enlarged image. These advanced microscopes are categorized as special microscope. Let's focus on today's topic, the optical microscope. Optical microscopes are divided in two types depending on the number of lenses they use. Simple light microscope use a single lens to magnify an object, whereas a compound light microscope use two sets of lenses. Simple light microscope is actually a magnifying lens and is a combination of a convex lens with a holder called the stage for the specimen. The sample is illuminated from below by reflected lights with the help of a mirror fitted underneath the stage. It works on the principle that when a tiny object is placed within its focus, a virtual, erect and magnified image of the object is formed at the least distance of distinct vision from the observer's eye. The maximum magnification of a simple light microscope is about 10x, although 5x, 15x magnification power lenses are also used. Today, simple microscopes are not used often because the introduction of a second lens led to the more powerful compound optical light microscope. With two lenses, the compound microscope offer better magnification than a simple microscope. A compound microscope mainly consists of three parts, a body tube to hold the lenses, a base on which the microscope rests, and a C-shaped arm. The body tube is placed at the top of the arm. Although the body tube looks very complicated, it is actually a hollow tube with two edges holding two lenses on either side. It connects both the lenses and the light travels through it from the end of objective lens to ocular lens. The narrower end of the body tube holds a small tube known as the draw tube. The draw tube, the draw tube contains one of the two lenses of the compound microscope and it is known as the eyepiece lens or the ocular lens. At the lower end of the body tube, a revolving nose piece is mounted on a rotating turret. The nose piece holds three or more objective lenses and can be rotated to change the power magnification as necessary. The nose piece must click into place for the objective lens to be in proper alignment. Let me give you some information about the lenses. So far we know that the top of the microscope will have the eyepiece lens or the ocular lens and the nose piece will hold the objective lens. These lenses are curved pieces of glass or plastic and as usual they can bend light coming from the object into its focus and can make an image of the object which will appear larger than it actually is. Both the lenses are of different focal lengths although they work together to increase the size of the image. 
Actually, the second lens, that is the eyepiece lens, magnifies the image of the first lens, that is the objective lens. So, we can say that the objective lenses are the primary optical lenses and the eyepiece lenses are the secondary optical lenses of the microscope. Objective lens has a short focal length than the eyepiece lens, usually below 1 cm. As in case of lenses, you know that less is the focal length, more is the magnification power. In that sense, objective lens is more powerful lens than the eyepiece lens. Now, what is the function of the objective lens? They gather light coming from the specimen. And secondly, they form a real inverted image within the body tube. Objective lenses with four different magnifications are generally used in compound microscopes and they are 4x, 10x, 40x, 100x respectively. Eyepiece lens is the one that you look through at the top of the microscope as we already know that its focal length is bigger than the focal length of the objective lens. Typically, standard eyepiece have a magnification power of 10x although lenses of varying powers like uh, 5x, 20x are also used as per situation. The purpose of the eyepiece lens or ocular lens is to present a remagnified image of the real image formed by the objective lens to our eyes. The final image formed by the eyepiece lens will be a virtual, erect and magnified one. There are two adjustment knobs located on the arm of the microscope. They are built on the same axis that allow the tubes to slide in to one another, varying the distance between the lens and to bring the specimen into focus. The coarse adjustment knob located at the top of the arm moves the stage up and down. That produces a large vertical movement of the stage. This movement will help in bringing the specimen into general focus. But Uncontrolled rotation of the coarse adjustment screw may lead the objective lens onto the slide which can result into the destruction of the specimen. So coarse adjustment knob should only be used with low power objective lenses like 4x, 10x and never with high power lenses that is 40x, 100x. The smaller knob located below the coarse adjustment knob is known as the fine adjustment knob and is used to bring the specimen into sharp focus. The horizontal surface upon which the slide is placed is called the stage. The slide carrying the specimen is held in place by clips. There is a hole in the stage called the aperture through which light reaches the stage. The body tube with all these lenses is arranged on the arm which is connected to a strong base at the lower end with an inclination screw. The screw allows the arm of the microscope to tilt a little. The arm is used to carry the microscope. A microscope is a heavy instrument, so when carrying a compound microscope, always take care to lift it by both the arm and the base simultaneously. The base supports the microscope and houses the illuminator. Illuminator is the light source. It may be a low voltage halogen bulb or a small mirror that reflects the light through the stage aperture. Above the mirror, an iris also known as the diaphragm is also present. Iris helps in controlling the amount of light passing above towards the specimen. There may be a condenser lens just above the diaphragm and immediately under the stage. Light rays from the illuminator are condensed by the condenser lens and focuses a cone-shaped beam of light onto the specimen through the stage aperture. Now as we have got ourselves acquainted with the structure of the microscope, let's have a look at the working of the microscope. The specimen is placed on the stage and illuminated from below, just outside the focus of the objective lens. As told earlier, a real inverted and magnified image is formed. This magnified image produced by the objective lens will then act as an object for the eyepiece lens. The eyepiece lens is adjusted in such that the real image lies within the focus of the eyepiece lens. Now, the eyepiece lens functions as a magnifying glass 
and forms a virtual erect and magnified image of the object. This final image produced by the IPS lens will be in the least distance of a distinct vision of the observer's eye, that is at the near point or in 25 centimeters of the observer's eye. Now let's talk about the magnification power of the compound microscope. In order to ascertain the total magnification by a compound light microscope, you have to multiply the power of the eyepiece lens by the power of the respective objective lens. For example, if a 10x eyepiece lens used with a 40x objective lens will produce a 10 into 40 equals to 400x magnified image. Hope this makes sense to you. Thank you.